definitely what I wanted to be. I was confident. I was wise beyond my years, they would say. I was beautiful and happy. I was fly. But I wasn't cocky or thought I was better than anybody because I believe that we're all created equally. But some of us just choose to lose by exemplifying mediocrity. But that's a whole other story. Tonight is about this piece I call the autobiography of the unknown. That's me. The nobody to anybody who is somebody. Except the body that leaned on, dumped on, and drained all my energy, leaving me in a state of uncertainty about my happily ever after, after he abused me mentally, emotionally, and fucked up my self-esteem. Feeling lost and lonely because of his own insecurities and instability in the mind he was unkind to me, but would never hesitate to say that he loved me. He threw everything I ever told him in my face. I wanted to help people live with dignity. He said it was about popularity. Did whatever he could to disgrace and shame me. What about that degree you got in business, woman? You're no woman. You wasted all your time and money. You have no business doing all this for everybody else. What about me? I was weak, tired, and confused about who I am, Lord. Why me? No, not you. Me, he said. For I am that I am. Be still and know that I am he, the one you are searching for so desperately. I heard him the first time, but didn't listen keenly. The first time I met the man I knew I would love eternally. Not my first time, if you know what I mean. First time I lost my virginity. First time 